uh, this improvement is uh, quite important for, again because um, uh, it solves a problem of lost uh, GMS messages. So as you all uh, may know, uh, we ha in the uh, ActiveOS console we have a sub uh, on agents especially we have a separate page called messaging services in the admin settings where we can define a messaging serving uh, that can be used to consume messages from a GMS queue or topic and uh, send the data from the messages to an APD or Beeple process. And uh, recently one of our customers uh, reported a defect uh, that affected them a lot. So the problem was the following. Uh, due to some issues, uh, the messaging service that they used didn't work for some period of time. And in the queue that uh, they use, uh, uh, there was a lot of unconsumed messages, like uh, 30,000 or something like that. And uh, when they uh, tried to solve the issue with messaging service and they republished it, uh, they did this with incorrect settings. As far as I recall, uh, they used the uh, incorrect listener class. The class that they used were expected to get APD calls, but uh, the messages that they uh, had in the queue were dedicated for uh, Beeple process. I will show you the difference in a minute. And uh, due to this misconfiguration, they uh, simply lost all the messages from the queue. And the reason for that was that uh, we uh, previously we uh, always uh, consumed messages from the queue, even if we couldn't deliver it to the target target process. Uh, if for whatever reason the uh, message can't be delivered to the target process, we simply reported a, an exception in the agent, uh, in agent or cloud server log, and then we simply remove the, queue, um, the message from the queue. And due to this misconfiguration that they had, they simply uh, deleted all the uh, messages from the queue, which is a significant issue, uh, not only for them, but for all customers. And the uh, fix uh, for this problem uh, was uh, that we added a new property called rollback on error. Uh, this property is, exists for uh, queue and topic listeners as well, as you can see. And uh, basically what it does, uh, if this checkbox is unchecked, uh, the behavior of the uh, messaging service uh, is the same as it was before. If message can't be processed, we simply uh, uh, remove it from the queue and we uh, log an exception. Uh, which is uh, good for backwards compatibility uh, and maybe in some cases messages are just events that should be delivered and processed optionally. Uh, it's also uh, possible that users uh, will continue using the old approach. But uh, in most cases it uh, makes more sense to check, uh, to check that property for new um, queue and topic uh, configurations. Uh, in order to be sure that if the message is uh, not delivered to the target process for whatever reason, it won't be deleted, it will be rolled back to the source queue. And what does it mean? It means that if you configure your message broker accordingly, you won't lose any messages. You can uh, store them somewhere, you can retry uh, to deliver them a couple of times if the um, error is uh, random and uh, happens not always, uh, it, it, there is a chance that the message will be uh, uh, processed uh, during next attempt. So you, you basically get a um, lot more options. And for example, if uh, I'm using a, a, a Apache ActiveMQ, uh, I can uh, configure this via policy. Uh, and here I just put a very simple uh, policy that basically says that uh, if message can't be delivered, uh, you just need to move it to a dead letter queue with the following prefix, and also it tells that non-persistent messages should be uh, moved that, to that letter queue as well. And this setting basically uh, gives me um, uh, a possibility to uh, store messages that can't be delivered to a dead letter queue and do something something with them later. And let's uh, take a look how all this works. So here I have a very simple uh, IPD process, which always throws an exception. And I want to call that process uh, via GMS. This process accepts 
to fields ID, which is integer, and some name, which is string. I published that process to my agent uh, and created uh, two message service uh, queue listeners. One uh, uses uh, people listener, which allows me to call my ITD as the people process. Uh, and the second one is real-time listener, which allows me to call uh, IPD as an IPD. So request will, will look like a normal request that you send via Postman, for example. In the first case, you need to send a stop message. I will show you that in a second. So I have two queues in my uh, Activum queue server, and I have a, a, the same uh, IPD process that uh, handles requests, uh, messages from uh, those two queues. And as you can see, for both uh, few listeners, I checked the new checkbox. So this means that I want to see uh, bad messages in a dead letter queue. If I try to send some message to the first queue, uh, which is basically IPD, uh, uh, which accepts IPD messages, because we have real-time listener here for that test queue. So if I put a bad message, uh, I sh expect to get that message in a dead letter queue. Uh, what is wrong with this message? Uh, it looks okay, but in the ID field, it contains some string, uh, which causes a validation issue when we try to call the target IPD process, because in the IPD that I showed you, ID is an integer and not a string. Previously, that message will be simply lost. Now we should get it in the dead letter queue. Here is a log of my agent. As you can see, there are no issues. If I send that message, I will see that uh, for a couple of uh, attempts, uh, we will get an exception because by default, my active and queue uh, tries to send the same message to uh, consumer five times before give up, giving up. So as you can see, due to uh, input validation issue, we can't deliver that message, and this message uh, should appear here in the dead letter queue that uh, is created by by uh, Activen queue for my test queue. So as you can see now, we have it in the dead letter queue, which means that uh, when uh, we uh, rejected the message five times, uh, the message was moved by the broker and wasn't lost, which is good. Uh, now we can send one more message. This time uh, we will send a correct message. My message uh, looks the same, but this time I set a correct uh, integer value for ID field. If I send it again, I won't see any exceptions here, and I will see that the message will is consumed. So in the data TQ, we still have only one message, and the second one was consumed, which means that if everything is okay, the message is consumed and removed from the queue. Uh, as you recall, I told you that in the process that we call, I always throw an exception. Why I did this uh, for this demo? Uh, the answer is simple. Uh, we have uh, one um, uh, feature uh, uh, that we uh, should clarify. So when uh, we say that the message was delivered or not, uh, uh, we talk about uh, message delivered to the target process. And uh, this basically means that if the message wasn't delivered to the target process due to some exception like input validation or whatever, the message is considered as not delivered and we reject it. Basically, we return it to the queue. But if message was delivered to the target process, the process was basically, basically initiated, uh, we consider this message uh, as delivered. And even if the target process fails, like in my case, we still think that the, we delivered the process, we did our job, and the message can be uh, successfully removed from the queue. So uh, customers should remember about that and should handle any faults in the process accordingly uh, because they may lose data otherwise. And they sh should consider some uh, additional possib possibilities that we provide like uh, persistent processes, suspended uh, processes to make sure that uh, data are not lost if there is a fault in the process. Uh, but uh, if the process is called, we always remove the message from the queue. And the same works uh, for the second case if the same process is called as a Beeple process. So I, I again, I have one more queue that I showed you, and this time I should put a message that is 
acceptable for uh, our IPv as a people source. So this is initiate request, the same parameters. As you can see, this XML is incorrect because uh, it uh, misses uh, closing uh, uh, tag for this element. If I send it again, I will see a couple of exceptions because there is uh, input validation issue. XML is not correct. And our message should go to a test, uh, that letter Q for test Q2. And if I send the same message, uh, but this time cor uh, uh, correctly, Built. As you can see, this time it has this closing tag. It will be delivered correctly. There are not any exceptions in the log, and the message should disappear. Uh, should uh, be uh, con considered as consumed. So as you can see, the second that letter Q is uh, still have one message. So that's basically it. This new checkbox that I showed solved the problem of uh, lost messages and uh, we le left the possibility to for the customers to decide what they want to do if the message can't be delivered. 